Arduino, an open source programmable circuit board and microcontroller that makes it possible for anyone to build digital hardware products. The idea started in Italy in 2005 and today has sold over 10 million boards worldwide. The most popular model is the Uno and at its heart we have a microcontroller, which is like a small inexpensive computer that can run on low power. The board is surrounded by pins that can be used to construct a circuit by connecting various input and output devices. Most importantly though, it has a USB port that's used to easily easily upload your code to the device. In Arduino, a software program is called a sketch, which is written in a purpose-built, easy-to-learn programming language. Every program has two basic functions. Setup runs once when the hardware is first powered on, and loop runs continuously to react to signals from input devices or changes to the state of the program. Arduinos have been used to build IoT products, robots, wearable devices, and all kinds of other crazy hardware ideas. To get started, obtain a board, then download its custom IDE, or use the VS Code plugin if you prefer. Once installed, connect your board via USB, then create a new sketch, which is just a file ending in .ino. The language itself feels like a simplified version of C, with plenty of built-in functions to make hardware coding more accessible. The setup function runs once when the board is reset or powered up. We could use the built-in pin mode function to select a pin, like the built-in LED, and then configure it as an input or output. And now, in the loop function, we can turn the LED on by writing to it with a value of high, which is a constant that will increase the voltage to that pin and make it shine. To make it blink, we can follow it with a delay, then switch the voltage to low. And now we can hit the upload button to compile and run this code on the Arduino's microcontroller. Congratulations, you just built a custom hardware product, but there's a lot more we could do here. Connect a breadboard to it to create circuits without the need for soldering. The Arduino can power it by connecting the positive side to the five volt pin and the negative side to the ground pin. And now connect components like LEDs, capacitors, resistors, batteries, battery packs, motors, and switches to the breadboard. These components then connect back to the digital pins on the Arduino. Once connected, these components can be controlled in your code by referencing the pin number. With a little bit of code, you can make it do anything you can imagine. This has been Arduino in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more hardware development content on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.